Alright, so, um, real quick, I'm gonna update my eyes tutorial. I got Fimo Deco Gel, and I'm going to put that around each eye because I'm pretty sure that's why half the time it doesn't turn out right. So I'm gonna do that, pop it in the, um, the toaster oven and then I'll be right back so use your tip just go around don't do the middle just around the outside of each iris okay so I'm back just not let me pause the show I'm watching um I put the female around the edges of the pupil. Um, some of it ran a little bit. It's a lot more liquidy than translucent Sculpey. Um, but it seems to have baked pretty clear. Um, I put it in for five minutes. So now I'm going to fill in the middle of each one. And um, then we will move on to the next step, which would be after I fill in the middle of each one, I'm going to bake it again for five minutes. And then, like in my first video, I will heat it with the the heat gun. And, um, whoop, that's quite a bit. Um, and then I'll heat it with the heat gun. Oh. See, yeah, it's a, it's not as easy to work with as the, as the Sculpey. I'll get it with the heat gun, and then we'll see um what they look like then, and compare, because the Sculpey is cheaper, and I mean you have about a fifty percent chance of getting it right with those. <coughs> I'll show you some of my best eyes with the Sculpey that I've used in some of my um, sculpting and um, and uh, we'll just compare to these I'm pretty sure these will turn out looking pretty good though because they look um, pretty good already even though I'm not even done I'm I'm happy with my purchase of the FEMO I ha like this is the first time I'm using it here on this video Anyway, so I'm going to do this, bake them, and I will go ahead and heat them with the heat gun. If you're wondering how to do that, just watch the end of the other video. Um, and then come back here and see what this looks like when it's finished compared to what happened with the Sculpey. Almost got them all in there. I'm sorry, I'm sniffly. I think I'm getting a little cold. Oh, oh there's more. I've got my heat gun ready and waiting for me. For me to finish doing this. And I'm gonna put these in the in the oven real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. I'm all done. Um so I think I got more out of this batch than I've done with the Sculpey. Usually I get about half um a batch are good with the Sculpey and this one. Um most of them look alright. Like, uh, let me see if I could, my, my thing's kind of hot. Oh, let me see. Okay. Get up close. Now, I noticed that the, see right there, that one lifted up. The FEMO will do, I guess will do that, um, if it gets too hot. Um, 
but they're mostly clear in the on the website on the tutorial it says to wait 15 I think it says 15 to 20 minutes when you put the middle of the eye in. I didn't do that because I wanted to finish for this tutorial and I got quite a bit of bubbles so if you wait you know 15 20 minutes and let those bubbles rise up you won't have like mine do right now mm. like these are this one right here these are pretty bad but otherwise they look pretty good let's compare them to the sculpey ones and uh see let me actually move my camera my light here real close um, here are my Sculpey eyes, and they're not too bad. I think that you, it, if if money is an issue, use the Sculpey eye stay, because I mean these look pretty cool, but these are all right too. I haven't used any of the female eyes and anything, but I'll show you what the Sculpey ones look like. Um, she has some of the ones that I made in my video, and that's these right here. Let's see if I can. Uh, this is a big board. I have some eyes on. Okay. And her eyes. After I was done sculpting and getting her eyes in and stuff, she has a glaze on her whole face. But you could glaze over just the eyes, and it and it looks pretty good. Um, she also has the Sculpey translucent eyes, and this one. She has some of the first ones I did, and see that that eye's a little cloudy, but I think that the TLS is a pretty good compromise for female li liquid. Uh, gel, but if you're looking for absolute perfection and you want eyes that really, really look realistic, use the Fimo. Um, also, you should probably read the tutorial on the website. It's linked in the other video. It has a lot of good information. I'm not. I'm not going to go through that whole tutorial because I don't. I don't want to. Um, I'm not trying to steal the person's idea. I just want to show how to do it since there isn't really any videos on that. Um, so there's comparison. These are not quite as shiny. That's These are shiny on their own. But once they're glazed, they're pretty shiny. Even though, ignore that the whole face is glazed and just look at the eye compared pretty good now these this is how it will fail will be a little cloudy I don't think there's really very much that can be done about that with the uh, with the Sculpey eyes hit and miss with those that's my tutorial see you guys later